ってねー A few weeks ago, I did a live stream, and、um, a lot of viewers noticed that I have a fellow stag now, and I have been very vocal in my past videos that I am a loyal Bruista fan, Bruista user. Another viewer from another country actually asked me, "If you are a Bruista fan, why are you not using a cocinare?" Anna heard the live; she watched it, and. Um, she ordered this cocinare、um, kettle. So today we are opening this.、Um, this just came in from the mail, and yeah, I'm gonna show you. All right. Hey, co-chef. We are a team gathered by good folks from tech, fitness, and nutrition industries. As millennials, oh, this is a millennial brand. We aim to create new. Healthy, tasty solutions for our generation because that's who we are, and together we are co-chefs. Wow! Right, the packaging is really nice.、Um, I'm really impressed with how the packaging looks because even the even the brewista that I dear, dearly love,、um, their packaging doesn't look anything like this. Oh, and apparently they have. A lot of different products for a lot of different、um, food industries. So I think they are a kitchen brand. Ooh, more prints. Okay, so this is the first part. Cocinare, cocinar anytime, anywhere. This looks really premium. Hey, so this one is like a letter.、Um, in front, it says "thank you," and it's a quick start guide. This is a gift voucher and an invitation for their、um, exclusive club. Wow! I'm gonna put this down for now. Because I'm excited to open the kettle. Right.、Um, let's pull out the base first. Nice. Designed in California, made in China. <laughs> Household use only. Do not immerse in water. Of course. And then we have the three prong standard plug. Here because this is、uh, apparently this is an American brand. And then here is the kettle. I like, I like how it. Yeah, I like how it latches on that lid. Yeah, and the locking mechanism, the latching mechanism. Sorry, the latching mechanism is、uh, silicone. And then there is one more thing inside. There is a free coaster. Okay, I think we can put that down now. I think this is an unnecessary、um, addition to the accessories. You don't really. You're not really gonna use this, right? First thing that I noticed is the spout is quite big, so I'm not really sure how it's going to perform. Okay. Oh, by the way, before before you buy it, before you buy this.、Um, This is a 110 to 120 volts、um, product. So if you live in a country that uses 220 volts or 230 volts of、um, AC,、um, be sure to check your、um, purchase because this is this this specific product is 110. <clears throat> It's a good thing that we have. 
we have a 110 line here at home we're very lucky thank you to my father-in-law who is very smart by the way he actually felt the need to put 110 on the walls so yeah we're very lucky i'm gonna get water for this and then um, i'm gonna try and pour it and then maybe boil the water as well i want to press start and it's in fahrenheit let's check let's how do i change you or maybe i need to put the kettle on change the setting to change the unit of measurement from fahrenheit to celsius you need, you need the kettle on the base right and then let's pick a temperature i really like how the knob feels because it's very um very clicky okay i'm gonna set it to 100 because this is going to be the first time we're gonna use it so and there is a timer oh all right i'm gonna use the timer on the scale to check how fast it's going to boil the water in maximum capacity right so i just started the water i think it's heating up right now and it's very silent so i think it's the same as the brewista the brewista um, does a very slow start as well so it's very silent at first and then it ramps up and then immediately you get the temperature that you need I see that it's taking quite a while to boil the water. Of course, it's, it is in its maximum capacity. Um, the maximum capacity of this model is 900 ml. And it is just starting to make some noise at 55 degrees Celsius. It's 2 minutes and 30 seconds now. I think this is going to be a nice um, comparison with other kettles in the future videos. But right now, I just want to see and... Oh no! My, my, my scale turned off! <laughs> okay, but it's around 3 minutes. So I would assume it it will take around maybe four to five minutes for you to be able to boil 900 ml of water um i think it's the same capacity as the fellow stag because my brewista is a 600 ml kettle so um when we finally do that test that experiment or comparison we're gonna do 600 ml for all of the kettles so that it is um, the same water capacity as the Brewista. But yeah, as far as my experience goes, um, I think this is taking quite a while. Yeah, it ramps up really slow. But I really like the I really like the display on this. Right, um, Anna actually managed to um, continue the timer after the scale stopped. So we just add three minutes plus or minus 2.45. So it's around six minutes to boil 900 ml of water. And it's got a nice beep too. Now I'm gonna try pouring. If it's... Oh... Mmm. 
<laughs> um, you know what I immediately felt? Um, it's actually like a cross between the fellow stag. It actually shares the shape, the same, the same shape. It actually shares the same shape of this part with the fellow stag, but this part is like a brewista and it pours like one. And I can also feel where the water is moving. Mm, I think I'm gonna love this kettle. Wow. Right, um, the only thing, <laughs> the only problem with this kettle is it's 110. The handle is really nice, it's ergonomic. Look, this part is for your index. And then you have a solid grip. This part for your thumb is rubberized and it's got some grooves in it. So your grip is actually very solid. I just don't like how the spout moves like that. It's moving. It's scary actually. But I think you can get near to the bed very, very close. I'm actually excited to play with this um, and do the comparisons with the Broista and the fellow stag. Right, so for now, I'm only gonna be doing the unboxing and the initial impressions. Yeah, um, I'm gonna play with it first before we do all the comparison. So it's a fair fight between my favorite and then the industry standard and then this one, another kettle. So for those of you who live in the US who, who has an easy access to this kettle, and for, for most of you who are already using this kettle, um, I will be doing reviews and likes and don't likes on this kettle and comparisons with the Brovista and the Fellow Stag. If you are in the market looking, actually looking at this kettle right now, there is a 220 version, but we simply did not notice when we did the purchase that it's a 110. So yeah, there's, this, there's a 220 version, so don't fret, don't be sad, and don't, yeah. It's a possible, it's a possible um, alternative, cheaper alternative for the Brewista or the Fellow Stag, right? For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!